Welcome back to our channel. Imagine attending a birthday party in the Netherlands, and instead of mingling freely, you find yourself seated in a circle. Everyone is engaging in one giant group conversation, passing around cake and coffee. As an American, you might be scanning the room for an escape or a different social norm that matches your expectations. This tradition, known as the birthday circle, might seem unusual at first, but it's just one of the many cultural surprises that await you in the Netherlands. This scenario highlights a broader reality. The cultural landscape in the Netherlands is rich with practices and social norms that might astonish any American visitor or expat. From unique social gatherings to everyday interactions, the differences between Dutch and American cultures can be as intriguing as they are challenging. Welcome to an exploration of the rich cultural tapestry that defines the Netherlands. This nation is not only renowned for its picturesque canals and vibrant tulip fields, but also for its distinct customs, traditions, and societal norms that might seem peculiar to the uninitiated American eye. Understanding these differences is not merely academic, it's a crucial step for anyone from the United States traveling to or planning to move to this European country. The Dutch culture is steeped in a history of commerce, art, and an enduring spirit of independence which manifests in unique ways in everyday life. From the way they handle social interactions to their approach to work and leisure, the Dutch have carved out a very different set of norms compared to what most Americans are accustomed to. This exploration isn't just about pointing out differences, it's about delving deep into what makes Dutch society tick and how these elements influence interpersonal relationships, business conduct, and even day-to-day -day activities. As we navigate through these cultural variances, we'll uncover what might initially be shocking or bewildering for Americans. Whether you're visiting as a tourist, engaging in business, or settling down, knowing these cultural facets can enhance your interactions and deepen your experience in the Netherlands. While the cultural landscape of the Netherlands offers a rich and varied tapestry, it also presents certain challenges and misunderstandings for Americans encountering it for the first time. One of the most notable areas of potential friction is the renowned Dutch directness. In Dutch culture, being straightforward and to the point is valued over circumlocution. This can sometimes be perceived by Americans as blunt or even rude, especially in contexts where they are accustomed to a more polished or indirect form of communication. Another area where Americans might stumble is the informal work environment prevalent in the Netherlands. Unlike in the U.S., where there is often a clear hierarchy and a more formal approach to workplace relationships, Dutch companies tend to operate with less formality and a greater emphasis on egalitarianism. This can be confusing for Americans who are used to more structured interactions with supervisors and a distinct professional demeanor at all times. In the realm of dating and personal relationships, misunderstandings can also occur due to different norms. For instance, the Dutch do not generally adhere to the stereotypical gender roles that can still be prevalent in the United States. An American man might expect a certain level of deference or traditional femininity from women, or an American woman might expect more overt chivalry, only to find that these expectations are out of step with the norm in Dutch social and dating scenes. Moreover, what constitutes a date and the process of dating can be much more casual in the Netherlands, which might lead to confusion without proper cultural insight. Navigating these differences requires not only awareness, but also an adjustment in perspective and behavior. Recognizing and adapting to these aspects of Dutch culture can prevent social faux pas and contribute to more meaningful interactions and relationships while living in or visiting the Netherlands. Diving deeper into the day-to-day -day cultural differences between the Netherlands and the United States reveals a variety of unique customs and lifestyles that can be quite eye-opening for Americans. One of the most noticeable distinctions lies in food culture. In the Netherlands, meals are typically straightforward and practical, reflecting a no-nonsense approach to eating. 
Breakfast and lunch are often light with an emphasis on bread, cheese, and cold cuts, while dinner is early and modest. This contrasts sharply with the American penchant for large, varied meals and frequent dining out. Transportation in the Netherlands also presents a stark difference. The Dutch famously prefer bicycles as their primary mode of transport. Cities are designed with extensive bike lanes and cycling is encouraged for its convenience and environmental benefits. This is a far cry from the car-centric culture prevalent in most American cities where public transportation and cycling infrastructure may be underdeveloped. Work-life balance is another area where Dutch practices diverge significantly from American norms. In the Netherlands, there is a strong emphasis on maintaining a healthy balance between work and personal life. It's not uncommon for Dutch employees to work part-time or have flexible working hours to accommodate family time and leisure activities. In contrast, the U.S. often showcases a hustle culture where long hours and constant availability are seen as badges of honor. Social norms and etiquette in Dutch society further illustrate these cultural differences. For example, the Dutch value punctuality for social events and business meetings alike, viewing it as a sign of respect and professionalism. Social gatherings such as the aforementioned birthday circles involve everyone equally and foster a sense of community rather than individualism, which is more prevalent in American gatherings. By understanding these aspects of Dutch culture, from everyday habits like biking and dining to broader social etiquette such as punctuality and communal engagement, Americans can better navigate their experiences in the Netherlands, making their interactions both smoother and more enjoyable. One of the most startling and unexpected cultural practices in the Netherlands, especially from an American perspective, is the concept of drop visits. Unlike in the United States where visits are typically planned and often arranged days or even weeks in advance, the Dutch might not think twice before dropping by a friend's or a relative's home unannounced. This casual approach to visiting can be quite a shock for many Americans who generally place a high value on privacy and personal space. This practice stems from the Dutch values of community and openness. In the Netherlands, such spontaneity is often seen as a sign of close friendship and trust. It implies that no formal arrangements are necessary to enjoy each other's company. However, for an American, an unexpected knock on the door can feel intrusive and may disrupt their planned schedule or personal time. Understanding this difference is crucial not only to avoid personal discomfort, but also to perceive these visits in the light they are intended as gestures of warmth and inclusion rather than breaches of privacy. Embracing this aspect of Dutch social life can lead to deeper relationships and a more authentic experience of the local culture. This cultural nuance, once understood and accepted, can transform an initially shocking practice into a valued part of everyday life in the Netherlands, enriching the social fabric between expats and locals alike. In summary, the cultural landscape of the Netherlands offers a fascinating array of differences compared to the American way of life, each aspect rich with unique customs and practices that define Dutch society. From gender dynamics, where equality and independence are cherished in relationships, to social norms that prioritize community and spontaneity, these cultural elements are both intriguing and sometimes challenging for Americans. We have explored how the Dutch straightforwardness and communication can initially seem blunt, how their work environments are less formal yet highly productive, and how their dating scenes defy traditional gender roles. Additionally, we delved into everyday differences such as the simplicity of Dutch meals, the ubiquitous use of bicycles, and the importance of work-life balance, which contrasts sharply with American hustle culture. Perhaps the most striking revelation is the Dutch practice of drop visits, which underscores a deeper cultural appreciation for spontaneity and community, a 
stark contrast to the American emphasis on privacy and scheduled interactions. This, along with other cultural practices like the birthday circle and punctuality in appointments, highlights a societal framework that fosters closeness and efficiency. Understanding and embracing these differences is not merely about adjusting to life in the Netherlands, but about enriching one's international experience. Recognizing the value in these diverse cultural practices can lead to more meaningful engagements, deeper relationships, and a fuller appreciation of what Dutch culture has to offer. As we navigate through these nuances, it becomes clear that the beauty of cultural exchange lies in its ability to expand our worldviews and enhance our global interconnectedness. We hope this deep dive into Dutch culture has opened your eyes to the unique and surprising ways that life in the Netherlands differs from life in the United States. If you like this video, you will certainly enjoy our videos on the world's best expat havens on the beach and expat paradise top cities of 2024. Now we'd love to hear from you. If you've experienced these cultural differences firsthand or if you're just as amazed by these revelations as we were, drop a comment below and share your thoughts and stories. Which cultural difference surprised you the most? Do you have any tips for Americans adjusting to Dutch culture? And if you found this video enlightening and want to learn more about cultural differences around the world, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your subscription helps us bring more insightful content like this straight to you. Lastly, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It really supports our work and helps others discover our content. Remember, exploring new cultures is not just about observing, but actively participating and respecting these diverse ways of life. So keep an open mind, embrace new experiences, and let's continue this journey of cultural exploration together. Thanks again for watching. 